Welcome back to the channel, guys. Gvids here. I'm sorry for my absence this week. I have been very busy with my day jobs and my real jobs, that is. I work seven days a week, and I'm doing three jobs right now. So I am extremely busy, and holy hell, look at all those deers. But I'm trying to get on my game as much as I can, so I can... Holy shit! Holy hell! Um, so I can make some video for you guys. My horse didn't die. My cart's still there. That's a bonus. I thought I was going to have to redo everything again. I'm a little bit stuck. That's okay, though. That was a hell of a landing, man. I just tried to... All I did was put the brake on, and he just drifted off that rock. Anywho, I'll show you where we're at. We're just at Cattail Pond, and it's my new secret little pike spot, guys. I'm going to show you all... Um, I know there's a spot closer to the butchers, but I've been going there recently, and there hasn't been, uh, I can, it takes me a while to fill up the cart. I can usually get about two or three from that spot, and then I gotta run away, and then go back and try to have them respawn. Um, this spot here, man, they are loaded, and it's a very tight spot. Um, you can kind of isolate them to either corner of the pond. Um, I actually find the ones with all the logs are a little bit better, but you can pretty much go anywhere within this pond. It's not that big. You can see the other side just over there. Holy shit. I have the footage sped up, but that pike jumped right out of the water. Anyways, I'm just using the old river lure. You're more than welcome to use a special river lure. I honestly find zero difference in between the two. So I just use a river lure for everything I do pretty much. And, um, we're going to catch Pike here very quickly. It doesn't take much to reel them in. You don't have to cast all the way out. Um, they tend to come kind of close to you, actually. I thought those guys were going to mess me up, but they are on a mission somewhere, obviously. Uh, so we're going to bring these Pike in. These Pike, holy hell, they're jumping everywhere, man. They're, this is an awesome little pond. I absolutely love it. Uh, it's not super close to the butchers, but you don't really get bothered here, and you can re really load up pretty damn fast. Um, even without the footage being sped up, I was about 12 minutes all around doing everything. Um, so it really isn't too long at all. Uh, most of the time it's probably running back, but again, this is not something you necessarily have to do back and forth method. Just if you're cruising by, you see the cattail pond, stop in here, grab some pike, man. Nine dollars a piece. You can load up your cart and get a quick forty bucks. And you can actually get rid of your cart, call in your horse, which I'll show you at the end here. Um, just before I go to the butcher, so we can bring one more. Or if you really want to go wild on it, you can actually steal a um, pedestrian's cart and use that and fill up another five or so and go even wilder on that method. But it is a little bit of a pain in the ass sometimes to find those. NPC carts, um, but if you do find one, bring one here. You can actually load it up right beside the rock that I'm standing here, and you could drop it right onto the uh, the NPC cart after you fill up your own cart. So you just gotta dismiss your uh, your wagon there, and then you can use pretty much anything else you want. All right, to be honest with you, if guess if the NPC, you don't even need to get rid of your wagon. You just wouldn't be able to drive it. That's all. So I guess it'd be more beneficial than you could just call it in by the butchers instead of actually running back and forth. I don't know why. I'm I'm doing more thinking out loud than I, I should be here. But that's okay. Uh, let's get these pike in here, guys. Pike are really fun fishing. I actually enjoy just going for the pike just for the, the game fishing of it. Because uh, they actually take a little bit of time to reel in, especially if you're going somewhere where you got to cast far out for them. But I think we got room for maybe one more. Try to get this guy nice and close. No, he got no interest in it. That's okay. I like to try to bring it in as close as I can so it's not much of a fight. That one was super close. But I think we're filled up. Uh, once we're filled up, we're just going to get rid of our wagon here. Yeah, we're all filled, so I'm just going to get rid of my fish here. Go up to our stables and get rid of our uh, wagon by dismissing it by pressing square. And then we're going to call our horse back, your personal horse that is, or if you had an NPC, 
you can go and grab that as well and fill up that cart your choice and then we're gonna head on over to the butchers so once you make it to the butchers guys all you're gonna wanna do is make sure you sell the one on your personal horse first then you're gonna have to flee him or her and uh, call in your wagon and then sell the fish off of there so just a quick uh, a quick method for 40 bucks guys nothing uh, nothing fancy nothing crazy but if your one spot is being used or um, there's just not a much fish there anymore uh, you can actually just go just across the river and up the ways a little bit and hit up uh, cattail pond and you're gonna catch yourself pike after pike very quickly and very easily um, so you can make a quick little bit of money and move on to do what else you're going to be doing, either hunting or collecting or whichever your choice is. And of course I uh, bring my wagon a gazillion miles away from the butchers. So I'm going to go ahead and run up to this guy here. It'd be nice if they just spawn it like, you know, beside me, considering I'm on a main road. But that's okay. We'll just go and uh, quickly sell. I was just at the butchers prior to the video here, that's why I've got nothing in the inventory. I just, uh, my wagon was full, so I needed to clear that out before I made any video for it. Just so I could at least put fish in it. Oh, so anyways guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you guys want to stand out in the chats and within the live streams with uh, some personal emojis and badges, you can more so do that now by joining the GVids fan club. Um, but if this helped you out at all, make sure you share, like, and subscribe guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.